Well, folks, today we got to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 because we have shipping data that has come in from Hoseidon and their manufacturing partners out in Vietnam. Uh, we get this shipping data every single month at the beginning of the month. The shipping data is from Customs. It is two-month-old data, so this is data from September. But this data has revealed some very interesting things about the Nintendo Switch 2, including the fact that based on what we're seeing, you should... 100% expect a first half, first six months of 2025 release for Nintendo Switch 2. And I'm shit you not, we have some major discoveries here that really matter for the future of Nintendo. Now, before we dive into this data, I want to remind you that we're on a road to 140,000 subscribers. If you want to stay up to date on all things Switch 2 and Nintendo, all you gotta do is subscribe right here at Nintendo Prime. And first, we need to talk about where all this data comes from. I did mention it comes from customs and public shipping data. Uh, there's a certain amount of information that's available if you just look at the shipping data, and then there's extra data available, like the number of components, if you actually subscribe and pay money uh, to get access to it. Uh, people over at Family Boards have done this, so I want to make sure I give a ton of credit over to Family Boards and users such as LIC and Darth Diablo. They've been the big ones this time around. They've been diving into this. LIC seems to dive into it every single time. Now, unfortunately, uh, a lot of the stuff is behind a lot of hidden posts and all that, so I'm not going to show you any screenshots from Family Boards, but I will link to everything down below if you want to go check it out yourself. You have to be registered there, uh, and if we get any public sources on this, I'll be sure to later go amend that stuff in. So for those of you that aren't subscribed over there, aren't members, you can go ahead and uh, check out this stuff elsewhere. But uh, when we dive into this, I'm just going to put up some gameplay here and go over all the details because there's some really exciting stuff. And uh, one of the exciting things, and I don't even need to look at my notes for this one, Nintendo has a retail motherboard in production. Now, the motherboard is what you need to assemble the Nintendo Switch 2, right? You can't go into assembly, you can have all the components in the world, but if you don't have the motherboard, there's nothing to connect the components to. So the motherboard is very important uh, in order for assembly to begin. No, it doesn't appear assembly has begun. We'll talk about that in a bit. But I just wanted to note that right here before we dive into some gameplay and go over the notes. So as uh, you see some trailers here, let's look at some of the notes we have going on. So first, Nintendo and their manufacturers, in uh, some cases, are using Greek-based code names for a lot of the Switch 2 stuff. So as, as an example, Pegasus is the code name that they're using for the Switch 2 console. Pitera seems to be the Switch 2 Joy-Con. Altair is the Switch 2 Grip, so it will be coming with a grip just like the Switch. Vega is the Switch 2 Charging Grip, which means they are likely going to sell a separate charging grip optional like they did for Switch. Heaven is the Switch 2 Dock, and then Deneb seems to be the Switch 2 Joy-Con Straps. We also see that Lupin is the Joy-Con Charging Stand that released alongside uh, Mario Party Jamboree, an important accessory that will matter if you want to use your Joy-Con with Switch 2, because it looks like it will not be compatible with Switch 2 Joy-Con in terms of sliding them on the side. It's a whole new rail system, as we've already seen with the prototype. But uh, yeah, so that's just something to note here. Now, here's where we talk about how we're pretty confident that Nintendo Switch will be released in the first half of next year, because we have some manufacturing numbers that clearly indicate that this Switch 2 is in mass manufacturing as of September. So to 240,000 Switch 2 screens were uh, sent to Hoseidon. Uh, that is up from 60. Thousand in August, uh, 235,000 units of the B CPU one, uh, which is related to Switch 2 as well, were also shipped to Hoseidon. Uh, these are mass production level numbers because this given uh, particular factory uh, has a, a maximum limit, as we have seen with the Nintendo Switch, of being able to assemble and produce about 300,000 units. So, like, they're basically getting the maximum amount of units that they could actually possibly put together in a single month that is what mass production is when you get all the components and stuff in that you possibly can handle to assemble so uh yeah that's mass production now we obviously don't know if they're stockpiling components and gonna do that for a while that actually costs a lot of money to do that so there's a high likelihood that's not the case however we don't have a lot of units like going back to nintendo from hoseidon which would suggest that not nah, obviously assembly hasn't begun otherwise nintendo would obviously have all those in a warehouse ready to get shipped out to retailers so assembly 
assembly hasn't begun, but mass manufacturing has. As always, this is just a set of factory data in one given country. Uh, these numbers line up with how Nintendo ramped up their production for Switch in 2016. Nintendo is still getting stuff made in China and other countries, so the overall numbers are probably much higher in terms of total production across the board. Now, there was some weird stuff with the shipping data because uh, unlike in August, it didn't look like any T239s got shipped to them, which you need the chip in order to put it together. So when we dive into the data here, uh, it looks like uh, the data could just be incomplete and added later. Um, or for some reason, they it's been omitted, which wouldn't make any sense because they've never done that before. Um, you could also argue that maybe they just didn't get any shipped in. Uh, however, uh, it was noted by uh, member LIC that uh, when they contacted support because they have a paid account, um, there were apparently issues with them getting some of the data loaded onto the server. Uh, so uh, they they promised that they would have more data uploaded later. So in this case, it could just be that we're missing uh, data for the shipping stuff, which means we could get additional shipping updates later in the month. We have no idea. There was no time frame or ETA given uh, for that. So it's highly possible that T239 shipments are one of those data sheets that did not get added yet due to website problems. Um, now, a key thing to remember is that Hoseidon is a manufacturing company for Nintendo, and it's also one of Nintendo's assemblers. So they certainly would get shipped shipments of all components for mass assembly. Uh, this just likely means assembly has not begun in September. That could have changed in October, and if not, then certainly it would be changing this month. Now, I will note that they basically have enough components for a full mass assembly run, uh, assuming that the T239 stuff is in another document that's not been uploaded yet. And if that's the case, it's hard to imagine that... Uh, Poseidon didn't begin mass manufacturing in October. If the shipments were arriving in September, they have what they need to start in October. They will continue to get shipments in October, which would indicate there's still mass manufacturing or mass assembling here in November. Uh, one big thing to note about this is that, while obviously we can't be 100% sure that assembly has begun at this point because this is two-month-old data, and we don't think assembly began then, but it could have in October or November. It's that if assembly did begin last month or this month, that does open up Nintendo to potential leaks manufacturing leaks manufacturing leaks always happen at some point during the assembly process and if not by hosiden it could be by one of their other assembly partners hosiden is not their only one if you're curious, curious nintendo doesn't only make 300,000 switch ones in a given month they have the ability to ramp up to millions in a month that they need to that is because they work with multiple manufacturers of multiple countries taiwan vietnam China, etc. So this is just one that we're able to publicly track and see the numbers look very similar to how they ramped up Nintendo Switch with about 60,000 of components in August, followed up by hundreds of thousands in, you know, September. So that's exactly what happened with Switch all the way back in 2016. We know that launched in March. We obviously don't know when Switch 2 is launching. It's technically not even revealed yet. We just know it exists. Nintendo's given us information on it. This is all really exciting stuff when you think about the future of Nintendo and you're thinking about what they're going to be doing next year. Really it really seems like first half of next year is pretty well locked in. Is it going to be March, like some people think? Maybe, maybe not. Could it be April? That's certainly on the table. May or June are obviously on the table as well. But I think this kind of shoots down the idea of anyone thinking that this is like an August or a holiday launch situation for Nintendo Switch 2 because Nintendo would lose a lot of money storing components. That's why, like, if these numbers, you know, these numbers are correct here for September, Clearly, they probably began assembly here in October because Hoseidon and Nintendo would lose money just leaving these components sitting on a shelf. It is much more advantageous for Nintendo to bank up a few million of Nintendo Switch 2 uh, in a warehouse that they could then mass ship out to retailers early next year. And I emphasize that early next year part because the longer these millions of units sit on a shelf the harder it is for Nintendo to justify just sinking money into it and losing money on storage. So I do think that this is a heavy indicator. It's coming out pretty early next year. March could end up being the day. Hell, maybe it's February for all we know, but it, it certainly is coming out early next year. We know uh, right now that Nintendo will be revealing the Switch 2 
at the latest by March 31st of next year, probably sooner than that. I know a lot of people are speculating on January right now. Hell, some think it'll still be revealed this month. We don't really know. Nintendo has left it entirely open. They have not clarified. It'll be next year when they announce it. They are still sticking with this fiscal year, which does include this month. It does include December. Uh, so we can't like forget that. Uh, also, Nintendo said that whether they reveal it or not, they don't think it would impact you know, any holiday sales for Switch. So if they did decide to reveal Switch 2 this month, it, it, they wouldn't worry about the holiday sales. They don't think it's really going to hurt anything. So uh, with that all being noted, obviously backwards compatibility, obviously NSO moving forward. We know Nintendo accounts. They announced that years ago Nintendo accounts would be on their next platform. I'm just very excited by what's happening here with Nintendo Switch 2. This is fact-based data. If you don't believe me, you can look this stuff up yourself. It's in the customs data for Vietnam. You can go to the custom websites there. You can look up all of this stuff. You can see it's real. This is legit stuff. We're not yanking in your chains here this isn't a rumor this isn't even a leak this is publicly available information and the thing is this heavily indicates that assembly either began last month or this month and if assembly's begun then holy crap uh they're putting actual final retail units together with retail packaging and everything and that is exciting it's also scary for nintendo because they haven't revealed this thing yet and that means manufacturing leaks could be coming before we get to Christmas. And so, Nintendo, you better get this thing revealed soon. Uh, if you're a Team 2024, if you're holding out for Team 2024, you can argue if Nintendo's worried about manufacturing leaks because of assembly, they need to reveal this thing soon. Or Nintendo could just not care if those manufacturing leaks happen and just toss it out anyways, let the leaks happen, let the hype build, drop a reveal shortly after, and call it a day. Because ultimately, I don't think manufacturing leaks hurts the ability for Nintendo Switch 2 to sell. It just makes Nintendo not have full control of the narrative. Right now, Nintendo has pretty good control of it, despite all the game stuff we have and third-party games and things we've heard. In the end, Nintendo still has pretty good control of the narrative over Nintendo Switch 2, but if we get a... Like, the prototype leak was, like, one of the first times Nintendo lost a little bit of the narrative, but that was a prototype. If we get retail unit leaks, retail box leaks that might even advertise games and stuff on it, if we get those sort of leaks out of manufacturing before... Before Nintendo reveals the system, that would be Nintendo losing a little bit of the narrative. But I will note, I don't really think it hurts Nintendo. Uh, it just means that it got out through a leak first uh, rather than directly from the horse's mouth. Again, Nintendo is probably going to reveal before that happens. I think Furukawa is a very savvy person. 2024 is not off the table. I am Team 2025 personally. I told you guys I would move after November 5th. I did move. The system has not been revealed. I am totally Team 2025, but... When things like this happen, it always kind of leaves the door cracked a little bit for Team 2024, which Furukawa has never slammed shut. He did not slam the door shut on the possibility of this year. In fact, he stated that the number one reason people think it wouldn't be revealed this year, the holidays, is not something he think would be impacted by Switch 2, even if they did reveal it. So... We'll have to wait and see, but this is some pretty exciting stuff from the code names for some of the products, like Pegasus. That's just such a really badass code name. Uh, I, I just love Greek mythology. And then you throw out there, obviously, that they have retail motherboards being made, which you need to assemble the product, and obviously the fact that we are at mass assembly numbers being sent to an assembler. Uh, I think that this all bodes well that Nintendo Switch 2 is early next year releasing. And that is my analytical takeaway, my speculation, my opinion. The facts are it's in mass manufacturing. But the fact that it is, as of September, tells me it's probably releasing early next year. And that has me so excited! So excited for Nintendo Switch 2! Uh, if you're excited like me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to catch all you guys in our next video.